Hey guys, how's it going? Like Butter here, and today we're going to be showcasing the MG5, which is a new weapon that's being added to the Division in 1.5. I want to go over, give my opinions about it. I've kind of been doing this series over here on my channel where we've been talking about the new weapons that are being added. Uh, the MG5 is a light machine gun, which I think is going to be one of the strongest light machine guns in the game because you can see it has a base of 800 rounds per minute which is one of the highest fire rates in the game for a lmg and the only downside to this weapon really is the reload speed and also the mag size the mag size is very low it's only 50 rounds so it's very important to try to get an extended mag on this weapon it's it's more needed than i think on any other lmg that i've seen like something like the m60 where it has a base of a hundred round magazine you can get away with maybe doing like a like a you know magazine spring or something like that and to get a little bit higher fire rate but uh the mg5 definitely need to go with an extended mag without a doubt um, I think one of the best sets to run this gun will be Lone Star because of the fact that you can switch between weapons and automatically refill your magazine. I, I've seen the MG5 just completely shred and does so much damage and it's so accurate and the only downside is the mag size because you run out of bullets really fast because the high fire rate and the reload speed is very, very slow. So if you're going to go with the MG5, I definitely say build four piece Lone Star and then maybe two piece of something else. Um, you could do, there's a bunch of different <laughs> things you're going to be able to do. Um, one thing that I'm trying in this video, uh, I have a full high end set. Um, which doesn't fit the MG5 too well, but it's really cool because you got uh, the Skulls, um, MC Skulls gloves, which gives you an extra 16% damage if you have no other uh, gear sets active. I also have the knee pads on, I forget what they're called, where uh, your your grenades blow up almost instantaneously. I think it's 0.2 seconds. Um, it's definitely pretty cool how many different things you can do uh, with this weapon, but I would say that the Lone Star with the LMG damage, the extra ammo, because you know you're going to go out of ammo really fast because the fire rate is so high, I think Lone Star is going to be the go-to build. Now you can run a couple different things. You can try to be, uh, you know, more glass cannon and go reckless and just completely shred people, but also take more damage yourself. You could also do um, like specialized backpack and savage gloves. There's, there's tons and tons of things you can do with this weapon, but um, I definitely think it's going to be one of the more popular weapons that are coming in 1.5, just because like I always say, the higher fire rate weapons are most likely going to have the highest DPS in the division. I think in this build specifically, my DPS is almost around like 320,000. It's pretty high. And you can see I can shred NPCs pretty hard. And you also got to remember, this isn't an optimized build. You know, I have random stuff on my gear. I may have, like, uh, protection from elites or, like, all this other stuff that you really wouldn't want unless you're doing a PvE build. But I, I can't wait to see all the different, like, builds that people are going to do with the MG5. Um, there's also a lot of other things that I want to test, too, like the ump that got added. It has a super slow fire rate, so we're going to have to see how that goes because the slow fire rate weapons seem not to do too well in the division because you got to remember all skills are on a timer, right? So, you know, when you got med kits, you have healing skills, you have, uh, you know, ultimates, you have all these things that are based on a timer. Guns that do more damage in a shorter period of time are always going to be stronger because you can burn somebody down before those timers on those skills come back up. And that's why like weapons with, with really slow fire rate don't seem to do too well even if they have super high damage. You also got to remember with a lower fire rate, if you miss some bullets, you, you have more punishment within each bullet that's being shot with missing. So um, I can't wait to try some of them out. I think the next one we're going to do is the uh, Model 700, which is a bolt action sniper rifle, which has to be one of my favorite snipers in the game by far. It sounds so godlike, like all the new weapons, the the uh, the audio directors or whoever did like the audio um, for the new weapons did a fantastic job. Big ups to them. 
And the fact that, you know, like the sniper, the M700, has like a, a, a unique talent that we haven't seen yet. I think it's called Elevated, where you do, I think it's 10% more damage if you're 1.2 meters above your um, opponent or above your enemy that you're shooting. So it kind of promotes that type of sniper play where you're up in a building shooting down or, you know, um, you're, you're hiding somewhere and you want to just get that quick one shot on somebody. It's going to promote snipers to be more up on buildings, which is going to cause us in the dark zone to be a little bit more cautious of our surroundings. Like, we're going to have to see if there's players up on the skyscrapers around us or up on a building or even up on, like, a scaffolding that's just going to be, sh like, raining shots down on us. It's going to do a lot of damage. And you got to think that's going to be really good, too, because the fact of the angle, if you're looking down, you, it's a little bit easier to hit a headshot. Um, so I can't wait to do that. Um, also, I if you guys don't remember, the MG5 was like leaked in 1.4 it's been nerfed pretty hard since then i don't want people to think that the mg5 is just as strong as it was back then a weapon sneaked into um the 1.4 pts when it wasn't supposed to be and it wasn't optimized yet for those builds so it was just crazy and it was shredding people um one thing that i do think needs to change with the mg5 though i have to admit is that the hip fire accuracy is way too accurate like i was playing with an mp7 yesterday which just received a pretty good buff as well um and when you hip fire the mp7 it jumps all over the place i'm talking like like your your uh your cursor just is flying everywhere and bullets are spraying in random directions if anything in my opinion i think the smgs should be more accurate when hip firing because you got to think a smaller weapon even though the fire rate is higher you're going to be able to control it more than this you know huge light machine gun um i think that the hip firing on the on the lmgs needs to be nerfed drastically even from 1.5 um it feels like the bullets go way too straight and i just don't want to see another meta like we saw in you know when the mg5 snuck into 1.4 where people are just running around with lmgs hip firing like that kind of kills the mood like even assault rifles, I feel like, should be hip-fired a little more accurately than, uh, you know, the, the LMGs. The LMGs are such large weapons, and they do such huge amounts of damage when they're aimed. It just makes sense that they will have that they should have some sort of negative effect in the hip-fire. Because you also got to remember, the LMGs have a, a uh, stat that comes on the gun that's damage to targets out of cover. So if you're fighting somebody out in the open and you're just hip fire or spraying the LMG, you're going to automatically do more damage to those people. Whereas like if you like I think the LMGs were more for sitting in cover and taking out your your enemies from like, you know, middle to long range just doing constant DPS in the back of the fight and I think that's something that needs to get changed. I really don't want to see people running around hip firing the LMGs because if that's the case then the LMGs are going to become the strongest weapons in the game, which I'm fine with, but there always needs to be drawbacks to certain weapons. Right now, the SMGs are so weak in the game, and I think by giving them hip fire accuracy and making them a little bit more usable close range where you're strafing and you're hip firing, you're doing a bunch of damage, it would give them uh, a kind of a one up or a, a positive against like shotguns or LMGs or assault rifles where people are just kind of spraying that thing. Because I know for the most fact that Massive kind of wants to move away from the the whole, you know, three meter, you know, circle strafing, hip fire uh, mess that the division's kind of created, even though for me that's pretty fun. But I do understand, right? Like there, there's got to be some middle point where if you want to run up and hip fire somebody with an LMG, you can do it to maybe get the last shot on someone if they're low enough, but you shouldn't be able to hip fire, run, strafe, and accurately shoot most of your bullets towards the center of the screen. I think that needs to be tweaked. Um, but overall, like the LMG uh, class is getting a very, very good weapon. Um, I, I can't wait to see if people do like some sort of alpha bridge with it. I don't know how good that's gonna be. Maybe like you got like brutal, deadly, vicious, um, maybe even like, I don't know if Swift would be worth getting. Um, on an LMG because of the fact that, you know, only 10% or, or whatever it is, I think it's like 15% reload speed isn't going to help that much. I also, I, I really thought that Swift should have gotten a buff. I don't know if it did or not, but I think, oh, like, no one's going to build Swift on a weapon unless it's like 25% reload speed. I think 25% reload speed would be a really good place for Swift to be. 
I don't know if they'll ever do that, but um, I think that's a really solid percentage. And I think if that were the case, if I were to do an alpha bridge build, I would build Swift on this. But maybe like Vicious and Destructive, because Destructive now affects uh, PvP in this build, which I haven't seen too much of a problem with it, honestly. Like, I thought it was going to be super overpowered, but it runs through a modifier where only like a small percentage of your arm, uh, enemy armor damage affects PvP. So I don't think it's like making too big of a difference and seeing that the armor is staying the same i think we're gonna say goodbye to tank meta i think it's gonna be more balanced now where if you want to you, you want to build tank that's fine you want to build dps that's fine you want to build skill power that's fine uh but you know the whole people just kind of tanking a bunch of bullets which we saw towards the end of 1.4 a little bit i think that's gonna go away with enemy armor damage so we'll have to wait and see Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of the MG5. If you are watching this on Sunday the 13th, I'm going to be doing a 24-hour live stream. It's kind of unplanned um, where I'm just going to be raising money for the new house that we're going to be moving into. Uh, we need to get like a new dryer, new couch, a bunch of new stuff. And uh, my mom is super stressed out about it and thinks she needs to help us out with that. So I thought I'd do a 24-hour live stream. My viewers always have my back when it comes to this kind of stuff and uh, we'll be playing a lot of division over there so if you're interested be sure to click that link in the description come over say what's up and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video all right guys you have a good one peace